So we are going to read a book called Teddy Bear's Picnic. You have this book in your book bag and you are going to look at the title with Paula Predictor. Let's find Paula Predictor here. And you are going to predict what the story is going to be about. Paula can help you. So maybe if you're looking at the cover, you think this, this book is about bears, teddy bears that go on a picnic. Now let's sneak a peek. Sneak a peek. One. Oh, it looks like there is a panda bear in the story. And it looks like panda bear is running. Oh, panda looks sad. I wonder if he missed the bus. And now I see a balloon and I see panda bear and lots of bears at the picnic. So Paula is going to predict that maybe panda gets left off the bus and takes a balloon to the teddy bear picnic. Let's read and see if Paula is correct. So you are going to push the space bar on your Chromebook and pause the video and read the book by yourself. When you finish, you are going to push the space bar again and come back and read with me. Remember, to, you can use your Clara Clarify or Puppet to help you, but you're going to point to the words while you read and look at the pictures and think about what makes sense and what sounds the words make. Happy reading. See you in a minute. All right, welcome back. I love to point to the words while I read, but I am not going to while I read it to you because I have been watching my videos and I figured out that my Doc Cam does not keep up with my finger pointing. So, Teddy Bear's Picnic. You are pointing to the words and we'll read together. And I won't point to the words because my Doc Cam isn't fast enough. So, this is a little poster here called Teddy Bear's Picnic. And it says, Come on the bus. I did point that time. We'll see if the computer's keeping up. Look, said little teddy bear, a teddy bear's picnic. Here comes the bus. Big teddy bear is on the bus. Little teddy bear is on the bus. Here comes Panda. Look at the bus. No, said Panda. No. Panda, Panda, come in the balloon. Come to the picnic in the balloon. Look, Panda is in the balloon. Here comes Panda. Panda is at the picnic too. Great job reading. So you are going to read this book at least three more times to practice reading for fluency. You're looking at the pictures, pointing under the words, and reading it with expression, like Mrs. Stalkup did. Um, but before we go read with fluency, I want you to practice, like Sammy Summarizer, retelling the story. Who are the characters in the story? Where? What's the setting? Where are they? and what happens at the beginning, middle, and end. So Panda would say, the story is about teddy bears and they are in the forest at a picnic. In the beginning, they're all excited to go to the picnic. But in the middle, there's a problem. Panda misses the bus. Then, 
he's feeling sad, but a bear comes along with a balloon and gives Panda a ride to the picnic. And all the bears enjoy the picnic together. Now Quincy Questioner might come and he might ask, how was Panda feeling when he missed the bus? And you could turn back to that page and tell Quincy how Panda was feeling when he missed the bus. Or maybe you could tell Pan them how was Panda feeling at the end of the story. So you can practice asking and answering questions too. But remember, you're reading it at least three more times for fluency. Happy reading.